Hi all and welcome back to my first ever Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are in Moon Cradle and exploring and we will continue to do that. But before we do, I just want to say that if you are enjoying this Let's Play or the channel, I would love to hit those like subscribe buttons. But for those of you who did, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, it's super chill to tag along for the adventure anyway, of course. And as always, during gameplay, there will be no general talking. Moon Cradle is so peaceful. We're doing great on supplies. Ugh. I'm supposed to pile all the leaves onto that pile. Tweak. That pile tweaks for a fire later. Hey, you did it! Thank you so much for your help. Here, you can have this. Found one rainbow conch. Thanks again. Found one celestial willow leaf. might get a story from this. Just a bunch of old books. Need to rest? No. Come back anytime. I still can't believe you are solstice warriors already. Feels like you just arrived a couple of years ago. Found one music sheet. Found 25 gold. I sold this small field all on my own. I'm really proud of it. Hey, it's good to see you two. Doing all right out there in the world? Arlene and Brugovs, they were always so nice to me. I don't know what to make of this. Rain's office key. Found one moonstone bracer.
M attack, magic attack plus 10, Lunar Shield cost minus 2. New music sheets? Hey, give them here. Need to rest? Yes. Sleep well. Tournament Peak is north of Lake Ducaria on Watcher Island. Oh, we found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlocked, Moon Cradle. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. Moon Cradle and the Elder Mist. It was as compelling as invitations could get. All of the best artisans in the world over received it. A personalized letter signed by the mysterious Great Eagle. In close were directions along with the promise of a worthwhile endeavor and a touch of magic. They gathered en masse on the barren island to the southwest, hoping to meet the mysterious Great Eagle who had signed their invitations. But all they found when they arrived were three vials, two of which were sealed. When they opened the first vial, it became clear to all that there was even more to the Great Eagle than what the stories had shared. As the cork was removed, a solar eclipse occurred and magical light flew in from above the sky, reshaping the peninsula into a crescent. At the end of its stands, the light coalesced on the cliffside and gave birth to a tree so beautiful it appeared to belong in a dream. The celestial willow rose up while the grass turned to its signature purple hue. As if the magic had spoken directly to their minds, the builders knew exactly what they had to do. They would build the town of Moon Cradle and hold a festival by the Celestial Willow twice a year in expectation of the Great Eagle's visit. Unless they happened to be born in Moon Cradle, children of the Solstice would never know their real parents. So that no one would feel different or rejected, Moon Cradle was built around one core tenant, community. They built a common dormitory for everyone along with a single shared dining hall. Zenith Academy was also clearly visible in all of their minds. They built it but had no idea how to give it its final touch. That was when the second violin called itself. Glowing runes flew out and embedded themselves into Zenith Academy's foundation, enchanting it with levitation magic. The school in the sky was born. As if to celebrate the builder's efforts, the third seal was undone. Out of the tiny vial flowed a seemingly endless stream of mist. It permeated Evermist Island, giving it its name. In the end, a peculiar voice spoke to their minds. The voice provided guidelines for the education of Solstice Warriors and stressed the importance of seeking out the Elder Mist once their training was complete. As the voice grew faint, the three vials disappeared. Since that day, the people of Moon Cradle have held the festival to welcome children of the Solstice, taking it upon themselves to nurture them until they come of age. Solstice Warriors would come and go, protecting the world while attempting to fulfill prophecies bestowed upon them by the Elder Mist. As the battle continues between Dwellers and Solstice Warriors, Moon Cradle represents the hope that someday Guardian Gods may rise and bring about lasting peace. The end. I 
I just know you can take that dweller on your own without Moraine. I'll help however I can. Question marks. Found one rainbow conch. Any business for me today? Turning conscious. When they conscious? Congratulations, I have something for you. Got falcon-eyed parrot. Helps finding remaining treasure. Adds a treasure hunting parrot to the Vesper team. Can be prompted while consulting the map for hints of things left to find. No turning back now. Right behind you. Torment P.
level up. Three physical defense, three magic defense, one mana point, eight hit points. Eight hit points, three physical defense, two physical attack, one mana point. One mana point, eight hit points, three magic defense, two physical attack. Two magic attack, eight hit points, three physical defense, three magic defense. We can do this, Clancy. We must. And I think this might just be the place where we end off this part. See you in the next one. Thank you for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you're having as much fun as I certainly am. If you are, I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.